All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, all honor, and all glory to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashim, Rakhakadash. We like to give double honors to our elders and apostles at Great Millstone that do group well. Peace and salutations to the Lord's elect, the hopeful elect, and the one third. Lord's will, this uh, epistle, this church, this camp will be edifying and exhorting to the sincere sheep of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, all right, that is the true name of the Father and the name of the only begotten Son. We are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and those scattered abroad according to the prophecy of the diaspora. And we come in, in in season and out of season through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know, and, and compel those to come in, okay? Because uh, 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 Yahweh Shai's uh, wedding, all right, is getting ready to take place. All right, Yahweh Shai's bride is, is, is trimming and getting ready okay for for glory great great glory is coming all right in in the most dismal and, and wicked empire that you see right now before you you know so we just coming out in the spirit and we pray that uh what the lord gives us you know to y'all it will be edifying and exhorting so if you want you got something right yeah i got something let's start right with it <clears throat> this is uh wisdom of solomon chapter 5 and verse 1 mm. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness mm -hmm. before the face of such as have afflicted him. Yep. And real quick, to make a quick point, I think it's number six and twenty-five. Uh, uh, the the reason we are righteous as Israelites, all right, is starting first with the laws. Okay, because uh, to have wisdom, to, to to true wisdom is to have the understanding of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. This is why uh, I said, "Let us make man in our image," and this is why Adam was breathed the breath of life. Okay, and then what the laws were given to Moses and transferred to the Israelites so they could show that wisdom amongst the nations and the nations say, surely this is a wise and understanding people. You see, so our first righteousness was the orders, was the law. Did you happen to find that numbers? This is six. Um, you'll read it again. This is wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. Yep before the face of such as have afflicted him. Right, now this is what we're doing. We're standing, oh, get Proverbs 28 and one. Mm -hmm. We could drop that, it's okay, if the spirit will find it. Uh, Proverbs 28 and one, and <clears throat> Revelations 11 and eight, okay? Because uh, it says the righteous man standing in great boldness, right? But we're standing in boldness as, um, as a lion, as the scriptures say. We'll let the brother read it first, and then we'll expound upon it. This is the book of uh, Proverbs 28 and verse one. The wicked flee when no man pursue it. Right, that's why when somebody comes up to camp, they'll listen for a little bit, and then they hear something they don't like because they're wicked. Men love evil or love darkness rather than light. Their soul get cut. Right, so that's why they walk away. That, that's what it means, okay? When you're bringing out the word and someone listening, and then they don't like what they hear, Hebrews 4 and 12, they get cut, like the brother said, and they walk away. So the wicked flee when no one's chasing them. You know, like or the famous uh, African, why are you running? Mm -hmm. Why are you running? Because you're wicked. Right, right. You're running because there's something that you heard that the demon in you didn't like, so you left. But but what's the righteous doing? Keep going. And it goes in to say, but the righteous are bold as a lion. Right, going back, now read that line again. And it goes <clears throat> Rev 11. Where's the Messiah in five and one? Then shall the righteous man yep. stand in great boldness. See, then now we're standing in great boldness because the Lord took the demons off us, uh, cleansing us from our wicked ways, being renewed day by day. So now we stand in great boldness uh, in the spirit of uh, uh, Romans 8 and 31. Who can lay charge of the Lord's elect? You know, because there's a spirit out here where Jake is, is afraid of what the masses say and how they think about you. But now we found out what really matters is, is the Lord's way. And, and what's pleasing to him so we don't we don't we're not uh we're not afraid anymore of what mere mortal man thinks about us or, or uh let not their incredulity trouble you we're not troubled because your ass don't believe or, or you don't think that this is coming to pass this is why the lord is, is building us up on a bold manner because that's the pillars well what, what, what's is what would you gonna stand on we're becoming pillars we're becoming as uh men trees walking okay keep going <clears throat> it said and made no account of his labor yeah they don't make account of the labor now we don't boast in that but we're we're coming into a time where uh we know that our labor is not in vain but they they uh uh read that again it says then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness as you see now and then even greater though 
because this is a very small scale, you know. We're in we're in a, a, a grove dedicated to a queen of heaven spirit, which the Lord brought us here, you know, to rebuke it, if you will. And we're standing bold through the Lord. We're standing bold through the Lord. But that ultimate boldness is when a thousand on thy right hand, ten thousand on thy left. You know what I mean? That's when that boldness is going to really kick in, you know. Keep going. It says... Before the face of such have, have afflicted him. Yeah, but before the face of these Edomites, the heathens, okay? Esau comes by, they see us. Hey, now it's the point where Esau just waves and keeps going. Right. Before they had a spirit to stop and question, what's this niggas doing? Right. What are these black people doing? Why are you out here with the Bible? Right. See, vocab's still in that spirit because you can be like that behind a keyboard. It's much different when it's face to face. You know, just like when somebody's talking tough on the phone, it's different when we talking face to face. So that's the spirit now where they're seeing the boldness. They're seeing it. So now they just, then they, they drove by and they just, they waved, you know what I mean? They rode on their bike because because now the, those that afflicted us are seeing us stand up. Now, read that rev. So now what? That great fear is falling. Maybe they might be right. See, the Lord is throwing little darts at you. Man, they might, you see, because a, a man, everything given is from the Lord. So a lot of times the Lord don't give Esau thoughts to think like, well, damn, they, that could be true because he gives them thoughts of pride, thoughts of delusion. But every now and then he opens them up and gives them thoughts of, of, of logic. Well, that does kind of make sense. You see, that's the time we're coming into where what we're saying in the spirit is making sense to you people. You people that are in gross darkness, the bright light. Now you're starting to see it and it's hard to, to put the blinders on. With the mirth being gone. Because that's what happened with the mirth being taken away. The NFL, the NBA, they all had to start acknowledging the, the, the fucking racist tyranny that America has had over us. Because, you know, your, your, uh, your Jay-Z's and your Whoopi Goldberg's, they blanket the poverty of, of black people. You know what I mean? The, 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 the you know, the Tonto, the, the, the typical gadite in Hollywood, he just blankets the rest of the drunks on the res. But now with the mirth being gone, you got to face the music. And the Lord's song is singing over everything because the daughters of music have been brought low. You know? But read this point real quick. <clears throat> Revelation 11 and verse 11. And after three days and a half, yep. the spirit of life from the most high entered into them. Yeah, just like it entered into Adam. Okay? When, when, when that spirit... Oh, and when you look at history, they, um, they talk about the Hebrew Israelites uh, in 1866. You know? Now... The uh, f uh, fulfillment of Elijah wasn't until uh, Abba Bivens, but you had the spirit on Jake knowing that they were Israelites. Very small remnant, you know, but it wasn't the time for him to stand up in great boldness. It wasn't the time yet. That's why the Lord said um, Esau furthered the affliction. Because if you want to if you want to talk about chattel slavery, we also need to talk about why the Lord stopped it. He stopped it so because the prophecy of I shall send... Um, prophets in Babylon, you know, that they shall stay in the grave. All those other prophecies had to be fulfilled too. You see? Read it again. It says, and after three days and a half, the spirit of life, uh, uh, excuse me, the spirit of life from the most high entered into them, mm -hmm. and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Yeah, the great fear fell upon Esau. Okay? The first nation was Edomites, because where did we stand up? Where does Where is the righteous man ultimately standing up uh, uh, you know, in, in, in wholeness out throughout the earth, right here in Babylon. Right here in Babylon is ground zero, all right, for, for the, the, the awakening of the Hebrew Israelites that, that, that started for uh, with Matthew 24, this gospel shall be preached. Well, where did the gospel start? It started in uh, Harlem. It started in New York, okay, which we're in New York right now, you see? So the, 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 uh, the spirit entering in us, it was poured out heavy, like in um, Jerusalem during Pentecost. All right, remember Yahweh Shai said, wait in Jerusalem? So they, uh, Israel was waiting. So you, you you look at it, New York was, was equated to the awakening like it was in Jerusalem in Acts, you know? And this is why you have what you have today, from those teaching, to those reading, to those prophesizing, to those listening. This is all prophecy taking place right before your eyes, you know? That was it on that, and we had wisdom. Some you got some? I got quick one. Okay, this is Jeremiah five and fourteen. It says, "Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, about Shimei, I was shy, because you speak this word, 
Behold, I will make my words in your mouth fire, and this people would, yep. and it shall devour them. Oh, that's in Revelation 11. The two yep. witnesses yep. That, that, that represent ultimately the southern and northern. And this is why the wicked flee is because a man standing bold as a lion in righteousness set, is being moved in the spirit. It's not ye that speak, but the spirit of the Father will speak in you. And then when you speak the word of the Most High, people get burnt up, you know? And, and, and what, what words from a Christian would the Bible make you feel like? Damn, man, I got to reevaluate life. None. It's all prosperity. Right. You know, sow a seed. Yep. You know? Sow your seed and get a harvest, you know? And that's what's coming to an end too is Christianity. Christianity is coming to an all-time end, okay? Because it's not working. Lies can only last until the truth is, is, is outweighing the lie, you know? You can only tell me that you're the best fighter in the world until you get in the ring and got to fight. Right. You know what I mean? You can tell me you're the best rapper alive until you got a spit of 16. And then it's like, damn, you was fronting. And that's what we're seeing right now. We're seeing uh, uh, fronters get exposed. We're seeing those that lied on the application get exposed because Christianity is the easiest way to come up on Jake. You know, you ain't making it in, the, in your rap career, become a Christian rapper. Become a pastor. Become a pastor. You know, a lot yep. of those pastors, they're pimps. Yep. You know, they, they, they be pimping women and yep. shit. They, they, they sell drugs. Nymphomaniacs. Wicked. Yep. You know? Yep. It's a good point. We go back to Wisdom of Solomon now. I got another quick one. Malachi goes right over it. Yep. This is Malachi chapter 4 and verse 5. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of Yahweh Shemiah Oshai. And he will turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the hearts of the children to their fathers. And that's what happened uh, with Abba Bivens. All right, that's what ultimately happened with Abba Bivens because that didn't get fulfill, fulfilled through John the Baptist. Now, John the Baptist fulfilled the one crying in the wilderness, right. but uh, but John the Baptist fulfilled uh, the Malachi here in um, what shall befall the Israelites in the last days. Yep. You see, Genesis 49. Yep. Keep going. And I want to say this too, you know, the Wadi Abba Shemel Shai for giving us the spirit of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy, but that's another clear cut too. Christianity don't go into no prophecy. Y'all nope. don't go into no prophecy. You don't speak about nothing about prophecy, but you got the pride to when we we do, you try to say, oh, well, that's not talking about that. But but you don't tell us what it is talking about. You're taking it out of context. Right. So why don't you put it back in context? Right. You know? <laughs> right. And just like uh, Vocal, I always think about it. All he does is tell us what we're breaking down wrong. He don't break shit down. Right. You know, and soon he's about to break down. He's you know? not a teacher. Nope. Where's the videos of vocab teaching? Just, just plainly teaching. You don't just plainly teach. You don't plainly just edify. You know, it's all in strife. It's all in strife. Malachi four and five. Hey, but if you can't see that, man, then that's on you. You know, because you got a lot of jakes that are uh, juiced in to Christianity. Why do you think he uses the, the typical black woman and black guy? Oh, and the guy blatantly came out and told you he's an agent. He got hired by the Rosicrucians. Yep. 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 yep, yep, yep. You don't joke about that. You don't joke and say that I, I, the FBI came to my house. That's, he, was, he was telling the truth when he put it in the comedy form. Well, it's called uh, uh, revelation by method. It's what the elites do. What the elites, it's a mocking ritual where they tell you it blatantly. And if you can't see what they're saying, then that's on you. It's just that movie with Richard Pryor. You know, I was quoting, I can't, I should look the movie up, but basically he was buying a house from these Edomites and as they're walking through the house, uh, everything uh, that they were showing him, they were like, uh, we're going to take the cabinets. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, and here's the bathroom. We're going to take the sink. <laughs> and he's like, ah, it's funny. Then when his ass goes to get the house, everything that they laughed and said that they were going to take, they took. So they mocked him right in front of his face. You know, that's what Esau does. So they're telling you right in front of your face. Remember, the scriptures speak about the simplicity of Yahweh Shai. You don't got to overthink it. He's not overthinking. He's blatantly telling you it. You know, just like the Matrix, Children of Zion. It, you know what I mean? Everything is plain. It's plain. Oh, uh, write it plain upon tables. But sometimes Ooh. something so plain could be a stumbling block. You know? Like, oh, damn, that's just too easy. You got too good to be true. Yeah, too, there it is. As you have a demon. We're like, man, it's too good to be true. Well, sometimes things are just that good. Right. Let it be good. 
you've been hoping for good. So now when good here, you like, uh, you know what I mean? You got to learn to trust, you know? Malachi 4 and 5, behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of Yahweh by Shimei And he and will that turn. Day, I'm sorry, and that day <clears throat> wasn't 70 AD. Now the kingdom suffered violence. But that was a uh, prophecy. Smite the shepherd, the sheep shall scatter. Uh, you shall preach to the ends of the earth. That's what that was talking about. The great and dreadful day is going to be Jacob's trouble. No day like it. Okay, the great and dreadful day is when, when the angels are going to have to come and be a minister unto those that are heirs to salvation, where Michael is going to have to stand up and fight. That's the dreadful day. You know, with much tribulation. Keep going. It says, and he will turn... The hearts of the fathers to the children. Yep, that's why you had uh, the seven, you know, uh, the high priests, you know, men like that. Because, you know, for you younger brothers out there, which we're younger brothers too, but for you younger brothers out there that may not know, there were they, our elders and apostles had elders. Yep. You know, they had elders mm -hmm. that they learned from and that they got put on to and things broke down to. It just, the spirit sucked mm -hmm. with them and built them up. Just like how you had Peter and the disciples, but then you had Paul and his so we're just living in the time of Paul and his discipleship because you already had the 12, the disciples, you know what I mean? Not saying all of them were there back in uh, one West. You could have disciples, the true here now, you know what I mean? But but going back, you had elders before our elders. Yeah, they're like uh, Elder Ariyah. Yep. You know, yep. Uh, Elder Yaikwab. Yep. You know, Elder uh, King Masha. Yep, which we believe through faith, that's King David, yeah, which yeah. it makes sense, that's Peter. That makes sense. It just makes sense. You know, it makes sense. So what? That's what we believe in. You see? So what? Let us believe in that. Because anybody that's got a problem with what we believe in, go take your ass to some seven-year-old in school and, and jump on them for what they believe in. You know? Since he want to be, you know what I mean? Alex want to be Alexa today. Right. They can, they, everybody can do, everybody go believe in some shit. But over here, we we like, yo, we believe in this and it's, it's demon night. It's Hebrewism. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Keep going, brother. Uh, back in uh, Malachi. Was that in it, Malachi? Oh, okay. <clears throat> that was pretty much it. Okay. Back in Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, and verse 2, it says, When they shall see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear, yep. and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. Now, that's perfect, because the Malachi said the dreadful day. Now, this prophecy of wisdom, that's going into the dreadful day. So, they're going to be amazed at this dreadful day and in the strangeness of salvation. Right, because it's, it's going to look like no way out. And really it is if you're not part of the elect. Yep. You know, think about it. The only way out is up. If you have nukes coming in, you know, nuclear warheads coming in by the hundreds, yep. ready to lay the land waste, how do you escape that? Yep. You can't unless there's divine intervention, man. Mm -hmm. Unless you have an angel with you. Unless you have Shimei Shah is with you. Let's get it. Let's go to Matthew's um, 24. And uh, where he sends his angels out, and then let's get Hebrews one. Like yeah, yeah. Get um. Oh, you got some precepts? Yeah. But oh, okay, okay. No, no. If you got some too, my that's fine. That's fine. We get Matthew twenty four, like your brother said, like twenty nine thirty. Really, we can start at like twenty two and go down. Yeah. So let's. Says, uh, well, you, you know. Yeah, you. Yeah. So we go down on that, and then when it gets to the angel part, let's get Hebrews one and thirteen because okay. it goes into the angels. The angels about to minister for us. Yeah, ministers of uh, flame and fire. Yeah. They're about to minister, about to help us, man. Yeah, they're our brothers. Yeah. If, if we feel how we feel about our brothers, no, uh, uh, where this is, we'll say that uh, there's no love when a man lay down his life for his, for his friends. For his friends. <clears throat> and that's the, how we feel in the spirit, because that's the spirit Yahweh Shai is in. So how much more the angels? You had the angel pissed off at the Cowboys game, you know? Like, what the fuck you doing? Excuse me. What you doing calling Gad a redskin? Like, yo, he mad as hell. That's how they feel watching brothers uh, catch hell. Right. Right, because we feel upset when a brother says, yo, man, this happened or that happened. Right. It's like uh, my man in Shatas, who killed my little brother? Right. Remember, he was pissed off. Yeah. Let's jump into that. Say Matthew 24 and verse 29, and it says immediately. Hey, we in the time of Matthew 24. We in the time of Matthew 24 right now, man. Okay. Now, Matthew 24 also goes into 70 AD, so you have to pick out this specific prop. That's why it says here a little and there a little. Okay, and that's why these going back these Christians, you have no understanding, and it's disrespectful for you to be proud with the Bible. Well, I got when you you give a scripture, we well, got to read up a little. Well, if you read up a little, depending, it could be talking about something that happened three hundred years ago. Right, right. <clears throat> Matthew twenty four and verse twenty nine, 
immediately after the, the tribulation of those days. Oh, no, can you start at 22, please? Oh, 22. Okay. Yeah. Matthew 24, excuse me, say Matthew 24 and verse 22. <laughs> Which Matthew was, was a uh, tax collector. I was just I was about to say the same thing. You got it, bro. Yep, Matthew was a tax collector, and you know, and you would have looked at him as a coon. Mm -hmm. But the Lord called him. He's part of the chosen. Yep. So what does that tell you? The elect are going to come from all different walks Most, of life, yep. man. And some are going to have a better position in Babylon. And, and Matthew did. He's well off. He was yep. so called wealthy. Well, the scriptures tell you that... Um, it's in Sirach, but it tells you that prosperity is from the Lord. Yeah. And then all of a, uh, at a sudden, the Lord could put you in a position. You know, let's actually, if you want to speak on it, I'm going to grab it real quick. Yeah, there's this uh, show that I'm, that I'm watching on Amazon Prime called The Chosen. It's pretty much about, uh, you know, the, the 12 disciples and how they were mm -hmm. called. You know, and it kind of zones, well, my spirit zoned in on Matthew. So I'm like, wow, like the shit that he had to go through. Like he was dressed as a Roman. He was as a Roman, and they looked at him as you would look at a, as we would look at a coon today, like a so-called Jake police that's just a, a coon. You know, he got the clean shaven. He, he acts like Esau. That's how they portrayed Matthew. Right. You know, but then the Lord, you know, he saw the Lord's miracle, and he believed, the, but he was part of the elect anyway, man. That's what it's all about. Exactly. Was Daniel was a, a, a basically a president. Right. Yep. You know? Mm -hmm. And that's what I feel as Israelites, you know, Brothers and sisters out there, you gotta you gotta look past the curses and condition that you've been forced to digest. Right, we're greater than that. Okay, we 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 can be in positions outside of the ghetto and not be a sellout. Right, and, and Matthew know? was uh, Matthew was teaching in Ethiopia, man. Yeah, see, yeah. but I just wanted to make this quick point. This is Ecclesiastes eleven and twenty two. The blessing of the Lord is in the reward of the godly, and suddenly he maketh his blessing to flourish. So suddenly the Lord could could give you something because we we all going through it, you know. So there's a reason why the Lord made Matthew. Uh, it it could have helped the ministry. It did help. Uh, the excuse ministry. me. It did help the ministry because uh, he had he had money. Yep. You know. Yep. Um, he had so-called sway, if you will. You know. Yeah. And also he kept what he kept with him was uh, a book for writing. Mm -hmm. That's why you have the book of Matthew. Mm -hmm. You see. Yep. yep. So-called scribe, if you will. Yep. You know. And having a brother in a position that uh is more financially stable that's a defense against the romans now that helps the body yeah because they're great it's great taxing there's all types of issues that go on so you just can't have you can't just be in a voice crying in the wilderness all bugged out you gotta you gotta put your hand to this plow and to the plow out there and that shows you it, it, the lord can call anyone man you know no matter your status in america the lord if you part of the elect you part of the elect yep you know yeah whether you like it or not look at jonah you know, keep going. Let's go to the back to that. Uh, back and say Matthew 24, verse 22. See that what you would in the spirit. That was a ledger. So, if you, you know, what I mean, that's the background about Matthew. Right. Because I always read what Matthew like Matthew's fire. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You know, and it goes in to say, and except those days should be shortened, mm -hmm. there should no flesh be saved. Yeah. Because what Esau and that's what it was on my spirit, too. Uh, you know, hey, I'm going to say it like this. The elites have made their first move, man. Yep. Okay, mm -hmm. on the chessboard of prophecy, they've made, and they ain't moved just a pawn. Right. They've actually moved a bishop, you know, knights, and knights rooks. Put the queen out. Yes, bro. The queen, I say, is that the mark, you know what I mean, with the martial law. Right. But they've definitely, they've made their move. Right. When you go on that website, uh, Shit Hit the Fan, yep. it says. The deep state has made his move. They make their move, man. Yep. And with, the, with the whole 19. Yes. What was, the, what was that about? All right, to do away with the so-called middle class, yes. the destruction of mom and pop shops, yep. and the collapsing of the dollar. Yes. To bring about a one world currency that's going to be that uh, that digital wallet, man. Yep. The electronic all that they're going to put inside of you. He's going to put in you. And he ain't putting it in you um, so you can be advanced in society. That That's a new, uh, that's him bringing back chattel slavery. Okay, because remember it says, because we always talk about the rich, the, soup, the, the elite cyborgs, but what about the bond and what about the poor? The bond is going to be so they can be tracked and so is the poor. Right. So he wants to he wants to stamp and insert a, a, a beacon to know where his property at at all times. And I, and I speak as a man, you know, I, I believe when you get that, that's going to put all type of demons on you. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. just think about it. The frequencies that they're going to be able to play off you. I believe it shows you on the movie Kingsman. They hit a switch and the people in the church started fucking going buck wild. Yep. So you might take that shit and you think, oh, I'm cool, I'm the same person. <laughs> then you start seeing demons and shit, 
you know, you start flipping out on people, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, in the movie uh, Cell with John Cusack and um, I think it's um, uh, uh, Samuel Jackson, remember mm -hmm. the movie Cell? Yeah. Where uh, they're at? You see, did you see that movie? I saw like the preview. That that really all you need. But it, it, they're telling you yeah. why you why you think Verizon right now is giving out everybody free phones. Yep. Oh, come right in right now, some bum ass dude with a bomber phone. Right. No worry, Greg, I got you. And then now he's out with his beacon. And then then don't then don't let them have the juice in them. Right. You know they're it's ass across the wrong cell tower and that shit. Right. You know. Which the Jake woman years ago from Atlanta brought that out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Said so I feel like I'm in a microwave. Just exactly. you know. Exactly. You you talking about anxiety times ten, man? What does it say in Rev. Fourteen? They have no rest day nor night. Yep. You see. Yep. Yep. A grievous sore. Yes. You know. That's uh, uh, that's a uh, pestilence is a spirit, man. What proves that is when. Uh, David numbered Israel. The Lord sent an angel out, but it, mar it it judged them through pestilence. And let's not get on the fact there's like five new ones out right now. Yeah, yep, yep. doing some weird shit. You got shit happening in Wyoming. Yep. That's the beginning of a horror flick. Yep. Why all these horses dropping? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then the camera pans off, and now you're in a major city. Bitch, just blood got her nose. He drops. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, this is a movie, baby, and we're witnessing it play out. Okay. See, that's the thing in these prophetic movies. They never show you the prophet saying before it happened. Right. But this movie, it is. Right. You know, <clears throat> we, we're actually living out Jeremiah 28 and 8. There you go. You know? Yep. Yep. Let's keep going to Matthew 22. Back to say Matthew 24. And See, verse that 22. proves there's a lot of meat in, in these scriptures, man. There's a lot of meat in these scriptures. You know, do, do not neglect the, the nutritional value of scriptures, you know. And it says, but for the elect's sake, mm. th those days shall be shortened. Hey, the Al Bashem Al Shai, man. Because it's getting so bad out here that going back, what we're talking about, because with the days uh, no flesh shall be saved, you got to understand the prophecy of the mark is playing a major role into that. Hey, tomorrow's May 1st. Fucking Brennan's do. <laughs> right. You know? On a Sunday. I'm talking about the days are shortened. This, this month flew. Oh, and then they said uh, they don't accept cash either now. I can't pay rent in cash now. And now the rent's going up. They trying to raise up my rent up fifty bucks. You know, right? Raise the roof. Right. <laughs> you know? Yep. So it's gonna get real out here. Yep. You know. Yep. Uh, the the corporate they're buying everything. They're buying land. All these processing plants, which I really stay away from processed food right. to the best of my ability, right. causes a lot of inflammation. You know, it's not good for you. It's not conducive with this human body. Okay. But um, a lot of those have been getting hit. So that's a perfect ploy, all right? It's a controlled famine. It's a controlled famine. You have to understand how the Lord has really made Esau the God of this world, meaning he's using Esau and the tools that he's given him to fulfill the Lord's will. You know what I mean? Like the things that are taking place, because yes, the Lord, the Lord could just, he could just stop trees from blooming, you know? He could just stop water from running, but he's using Esau to do these things. So really, Esau is, is standing there shooting himself in his own foot, you know? Keep going. Verse 23, and it says, Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is, uh, lo, here is Yahweh Shai. You say it verbatim, because they ain't going to say Yahweh Shai. Right. They're going to say Jesus. The Bible speaks about two saviors, mm -hmm. okay? And we learned that, and we got that's why we got the picture. You, you brother see the, the viral picture yep, of the black yep, woman? Yep, yep. yep. She all up on this weak ass nigga. He looked like a female with a beard. Yep. He was like, she was like this on him. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, <laughs> like, and, you know? <laughs> you look like Jesus. Hey, Esau pops our women because of Christianity. Right. You know? Then Ishmael pops them for a black and mild. You see? That's how you know that shit is spelled. Right. This took a picture with a random stranger because he looked like the image that they portrayed to be Jesus. Yep. <laughs> yep. That, that, that. Lies uh, nothing up with scripture. The eyes aren't red. The hair isn't white like wool. His skin isn't dark at all. Who is that? You know. Same. Hey, well, well. Uh, so-called black people look more like uh, so-called black men look more like who you call Jesus. Right. You know, a brother like this, a, dar a, a dark, a darker skin brother. You know, looking like a younger version of Yahweh Shai. You know, or, you, you see, we carry the characteristics. Of, of Yahweh Shai. Because we're from that lineage. We're from that left. Yep. We all come from the waters of Judah. Yep. You know? Yep. Keep going. Uh, 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 I'll start from the top. Yeah, 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 yeah. Verse 23 says, Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, 
or they're believing not. Yep, and that's what we're gonna say. That's what they're gonna say. They're gonna